All right, so you have a piece of real estate or you've stayed in a bunch of Airbnbs and you're like, this is really cool. I bet I could do this myself, but how do I get started? So there's a number of different ways, right? You could uh, own your own home. You, you, could, you could Airbnb out your own home while you're on vacation. You could uh, buy a rental property. You could do a cabin. You could do something funky like, uh, like make something that looks like a spaceship. So you can do all sorts of things. I'm going to share with you one of the models that I used to build an Airbnb business. So it is what they call uh, the fancy word. The fancy word is arbitrage. Uh, I'll put that there just so you know. Just so you know, if people use the word, that's what they're talking. This is what the model they're talking about. But the what it is is I used other people's houses. So I used other people's houses. In other words, I just rented. And then as a renter, I sublet. And it was all about board. There's nothing sketchy. So what I did was <clears throat> meet, meet uh, Mr. Landowner. Now, it could be Mrs. Landowner in or homeowner in my case it was mr homeowner so all things being equal so here we go we will give him a little mustache we'll give him a little mustache all right so here he is mr homeowner he has a house uh there we go he has a house and he wants to rent it and now here i am Here's me, this is me, and this is, we'll call him a homeowner. That says ho, I did not mean that, I'm gonna cross that out. Um, I should think of other initials. I will call him property owner. That says po, he wasn't po. We'll leave it for now. <clears throat> okay, so me and po, uh, property owner. So I say to him, hey, Instead of renting your property to tenants, you should rent it to me. So we have we have this dialogue. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Hey, and it goes like this. Instead of renting it to tenants, you should rent it to me. I'll I'll rent it out uh, and I'll use it for as a short-term vacation rental and I'll take really good care of it. We go back and forth, and another time I can talk about the script and what that looked like and what that conversation was and his objections and how I met those objections. So ends up, he says, okay, great. You pay me rent every month and uh, we're good. So I pay him. <coughs> I'm not even gonna edit that out. That just happened. Sneeze, okay. So I pay him rent every month, all right? That goes to him. Now, I go up on my and for some of you that don't know Airbnb, like Airbnb as much, all right. So then I, I take my phone, and I put, I put the property. I put it up on. So I put this property up on Airbnb. Okay, I put it up on Airbnb. Let's see, can I make that? Okay, whatever. I put it up on Airbnb and I rent it out. And so I'm paying him month. Let's say I pre I pay him. $1,000 every month, the homeowner for the house. And then I end up getting uh, the weekends rented out for sure, and maybe some of the weekdays, and I end up bringing in 1500 Well, so then my profit is $500. They'd call this, so the model is you use other people's houses. What this enables you to do is leverage. So we've got, we talk about, you can see this, right? Talk about leverage, right? Okay. So you need you need leverage. When you're first getting out, getting started, I didn't have the money to buy a home. I didn't own my own home at the time. I lived with my folks. And so what I needed was I needed the leverage uh, of other people's assets and properties to build a business. So this, this would be right here. The, the leverage point would be uh, the house of... Of, an, of a homeowner, okay? So this their home is my leverage point. Okay, so here I am. 
and I'm using I'm using their <clears throat> the the fulcrum. We're gonna all, I'm using their home as my point of leverage to build my own business. And this works even if you just want to get started and get trying. Just start with one home. This is a great way of doing it. Talk to friends and family. Start finding out who has an ADU, an additional dwelling unit. Maybe they have, maybe they have um, a, a tiny house, or uh, maybe they have an RV on their property that they're not using. Maybe you have an RV. You could literally start, um, but you can rent out other people's assets, and you just sign a typical rental contract, and then you have what we call an addendum, an extra page or even extra section on a typical rental contract that says, hey, Mr. Homeowner, Mrs. Homeowner knows that I'm going to rent their home as a tenant, and then I'm going to sublet it and use it as a short-term vacation rental property. It's all in written. It's on the contract. Nothing is below, below the table. You really want to have all this stuff properly done. You, I know it might seem uh, cool to save money, but um, something goes bad. You have an electrical fire. Someone dies. I know it sounds crazy, but like, you're dealing with like assets and things that could be hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars when you're having people stay in there. So you just want to have insurances and liabilities and contracts all written up. So it's super simple. <clears throat> find someone you know or find people that are renting. Have those conversations with them. You rent out their home. You pay them the, t the rental fee. Maybe it's $1,000 a month. You put it on Airbnb. Take beautiful pictures. Make a profile. And then people come and use the Airbnb. And you're basically the middleman, the broker. And that's how you get started. That's one way. And uh, we'll do more videos. Boom.